Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel. It is a coffee time and today we have a DVD haul. I have DVDs and I have Blu-ray, so let's just call it a movie haul. So I have a total of 10 items. There are 7 movies and there are 3 seasons of a TV series that I adore. Recently, I found some really cool steel cases of two movies that I did not previously own and I thought, you know what, these might not be the best movies of all times or they might not be my all-time favorites, but the movies are kind of cool and I like it because it is a fairy tale retelling and they were also for a good price, so I grabbed them. And those are Snow White and the Huntsman and the Huntsman and the Ice Queen. So here is the first one, Snow White and the Huntsman. And this steel case, it's just stunning. If you look at the back, it's just so beautiful that I had to take it. And this is how the inside looks like, and it is a Blu-ray edition. And here's the second steel case, which is basically Chris Hemsworth's face, which I'm not complaining about. And this is from the second movie, The Huntsman and the Ice Queen. And here's how the back looks like. And here is the inside, and this one is also a Blu-ray. These are retellings of the fairy tale Snow White and they tried to make them a little bit in the darker side and I did enjoy them. They're a little bit like Hollywood blockbuster kind of thing so do not expect way too much from them but the visuals are really nice so if you like retellings of fairy tales and those kind of things it's also really fantasy themed and action packed so if you like those kind of things you might enjoy these two movies. Then I got a Blu-ray from The Shadow Man and I got this one because I wanted a couple of uh, horror movies to add to the collection and I found some with like Creepy Man and those kind of movies I tend to like because I also like for example things like The Slender Man in the game and I'm really excited about the movie. It is a really basic Blu-ray so there's nothing to it. And I did watch this movie and to be honest it was a little bit boring so do not expect too much when you go into the movie. It is about this woman, she's a photographer and she seems to be going through a rough patch in life and she starts to take pictures and seeing this guy with a black hat and at some point she doesn't know if she's seeing him in real life or if it's only in her imagination and this is kind of where the movie takes off and like I said I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting a little bit more and I was expecting it to, leave, to be a little bit more creepy but it wasn't really so if you already watched it let me know down below what you thought about the movie and then I have the bye bye man which I got at the same time that I got the shadow man and I thought you know these movies would be cool to watch them and I have not yet watched this one it was on my to watch pile but I never got to it so if you watched it let me know down below if it's good if it's at least better than the shadow man if you've watched both so this is a regular DVD edition and since the movie came out I've been meaning to watch it and I decided to grab a copy because it was only $4.99 this gives me a little bit of vibes like uh, The Ring and things like that because it's basically a group of friends that find out about this legend of the Bye Bye Man and then they find themselves trying to run away from him. So this is a very used topic in the uh, horror industry and I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not but it sounded cool and it had some old pictures on the back if you put somewhere like really old dated pictures I'm totally down for it if it's a book or a movie like I kind of like looks kind of like investigation creepy stuff where they find like cameras videos pictures from the past I am a sucker for those kind of things so I'm gonna buy those things then I have something so beautiful that Jeff actually got for me and that is a very special edition of a Stephen King movie that I adore and that is the dead zone so here is the edition that I got and it comes with a little book on the inside it just looks like a book and it's fantastic and I've always loved this movie also because Christopher Walken is in it and I love him and if you open it up it comes here with a little book in the middle which has amazing pictures I just I, I love it it's fantastic and here we have some extras as well if you love horror or you love Stephen King or you just like Christopher Walken just, just pick up this movie, just watch it if you have not watched it yet because it is really a jewel. I myself have not rewatched it in some time so maybe it's time now to rewatch it and also check out all the cool extras that come with this edition. So in the store where I buy most of my movies they were doing a sale action thing and so basically if you took three you only had to pay two so it's a three for the price of two and I used this opportunity to grab three seasons from one of my favorite series. So we have from American Horror Story we have Coven, we have Freak Show 
and we have hotel so I already had season one and two that I also got in some similar kind of sale thing that they did at the video store and now I decided to grab the other three because it is one of those series that I really want to keep on my shelves in the collection because I really loved every single season my favorite season it's always gonna be asylum for now but after watching the promotional posters and the trailer for the last season apocalypse i'm just like dying inside and that might also be one of my favorite ones because it just looks so good and i'm just dying that they're going back to murder house and coven and they're revisiting some of the old characters but anyways i got myself a copy of season three four and five in coven we basically follow some witches as well as vikans and i i really like this one the best thing of this season was Katie Bates because she's just amazing and her character was the best it was funny and it was like horrifying the, the it's based on a real person that existed so it's kind of like if you think about it terrifying that people like that existed back then and Freak Show was one of those seasons that I thought it was gonna be my favorite but then it wasn't I was really excited because I like all of these things that have to do with freaks and circuses and things like that so I thought I was gonna really love it and I did I mean it's not my least favorite season but I thought I was gonna love it way more than I did one of my favorite things was Twisted the Clown oh my god I love him so much he was the best thing in Freak Show then we have Hotel and I had my problems with it because there were some things that I was not so happy about however the topic you know that they chose you know this hotel cortez where there are people living in there as ghosts that were killed in the hotel and things like that i love that kind of idea but my favorite character here was liz taylor the acting is just like so good and this guy has been in other seasons from american horror story but this one i think it's the one that makes his acting the most justice and the actor is called Denise, I think, O'Hara. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I just can't, I'm sorry. Uh, and he's coming, I believe, to Germany this winter to a Comic Con, so I really hope that I'm able to meet him because his acting skills are just out of this world. So thankfully for me, he really rescued Hotel and made me love it so much. And the last two things that I have to show you in this haul are by Guillermo del Toro. Are you surprised? Because I'm not. So I got a, another edition from The Pants Labyrinth and I still haven't opened it so we will open it now together. Oh my god you guys this is just so pretty. We have the phone here. This is so pretty. We have the tree and we have Ophelia and on the back we have here the flying fairies. And if we open it up, it comes with a bunch of extras and also with a little kind of booklet in the middle. Oh my goodness, just look at this. Like, hello, Alice in Wonderland vibes. And here's the other CD. And by this point, I hope everybody has watched Pan's Labyrinth by now. But if not, please, please do yourself a favor. Please go and watch it and then come back and thank me for it. Because it is just amazing. It is one of the best movies that's ever been made and it deserved all the Oscars, but I'm still glad that Guillermo got Oscars with The Shape of Water, which was also another masterpiece. And if you liked that one, definitely check this one out. And believe it or not, the last steel case from this haul, it is another Hellboy. I'm not to blame for this one because actually Jeff got this for me, so I am not to blame for this. So here it is and it is i believe an exclusive steel book that he got his hands into i like that it says give evil hell and here is how the steel book looks like here is the back and the picture inside you guys it is just amazing look at hellboy with his horns it's just beautiful and I already had this cover in two different editions, but I did not have the steelbook edition of this. So now I have it. And I have counted. And this is my Hellboy copy number eight. And I'm very proud of it. All right, you guys. So these are the newest additions to my movie collection. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what you thought about the movies that I've shown in this video. Give the video a thumbs up for support. Subscribe to the channel. All my other social media is listed down below. And I hope to see you all guys in the next copy time. Bye.